and welcome. This is the demo of the OneTouch Fish Log. You are able to log in with a standard login account. You have your forgot password, which will send an email to the person if they are within the database. This will allow them to reset their password remotely. Now you are able to log in this way. But you are also able to create a new account. By creating a new account, you have your email, password, and to clarify, make sure that your password is the same. After you do this, you are going to set up your preferred fishing log area, such as water type for fresh or salt water, your state, and whether or not you fish from shore or from a boat. After you do this, you need to add your location. This is very key for the location that the fish was caught. Now, after you view this, you have all your fish that are possible within your given area. Now, after you add the click, it will automatically save your location, your date, your time, and the species that you collected. It will prompt you to see if this is correct before it gets saved into the database. If it's correct, you press add and it adds to the needing update because it does not have all the information that it possibly could have. So as you see here, when you are editing this new log, it has information specified from where you pressed the button. Now you have to enter in your different information and you have the ability to add a photo to the log. Now after you add your different locations and your different specifications it will automatically from the beginning pull the, all the different temperatures and weather information that there could be. You are also able to add notes as you can see. So after you add that it adds it to the most recent and you can see it here. Now, remember, at any given time, you are able to reset up your your uh, preferred fishing areas if you don't like it. And as you saw with the editing, you are also able to add the fish, and you can change your conditions that you have. But after you allow the fish, and you take your picture, and you submit it, you can also view those through here. Now, you are able to re-edit those event and resubmit it so therefore if maybe you got the information wrong now if you want to share it to a friend this is also a capability you have to select your contacts from your phone and it will automatically populate with the photo and the name of the fish that you caught you send that message and it gets sent off but let's say you you really don't like this fish anymore so you're able to delete this fish from your log now you gotta remember this was never going to be seen again so you delete that and then let's say you catch another fish and you know there you go this is the one touch fish log and I hope you enjoy it thank you